What's up everybody, Crypto Informer here, and I'm bringing you another tutorial about how to day trade and signals to look for. This one in particular, we're going ahead and we're going to go ahead and cover the wedge. The wedge signal is we're looking for a breakout to happen, and it's a signal that one is about to happen. Now this could also signal that the price is about to go down. So just keep that in mind that we are working to try to minimize our risk here and and protect our profit as always that's my goal in everything i do day trading is all about protecting your profit and minimizing your risk so let's go ahead and see what we found here so as we can see right here we have a wedge pattern forming let me go ahead and graph this out for you guys so you can see it so we have a top here and we'll go ahead and draw a line across the top And we have a wedge forming at the bottom of this right here. There's a couple of reasons why this part stands out to me. To start, we have a big volume spike at the beginning of this wedge. And then also right here, we have another big volume spike. Now you could say the wedge is a little more dramatic. You could move it here and create a larger wedge, but I would say no, because it's breaking out into a new price range right here, away from this price range. It broke upwards. But it's up to you. Either way, we can see there's a wedge forming, right? The best way to find the bottom is to maybe get a little stricter with your wedge formation here and move it to the new consolidation area. So let's go ahead and look at what we want to do here. The way I handle this is I like to to scalp these positions with the safest possible method and in my opinion that's buying the breakout so we are going to go ahead and place a, an auto buy right above the resistance line which happens to be at 8,250 so we'll place this at 8,252 just to make sure it doesn't just pop over and come back down the other option and this is if you want to try to maximize your gains is you can buy at the bottom of the wedge. So once we had these two bars, we were able to go ahead and show that this wedge would, would follow this line. And sure enough, the next price did. So you could have set a buy right here at the bottom of the wedge and caught these prices when they hit here. And so you would have bought in at 8,219. Sure enough, it hit the bottom of the wedge and it bounced right back up. This is riskier because you obviously are not confirming a breakout yet, but you could also sell at the top of this resistance and make a small profit. That's another option. Just remember that you want to place your stop somewhere in this area down here underneath the wedge, because if it does come down under that wedge, it is most likely going to come down drastically. So what normally happens when you see these is that the market's telling you there's resistance at the top. The buyers, the bulls want to continuously try that top. The bears are afraid of the top and will sell downwards. The bulls will push it back up. The bears will sell it back down. And eventually one of these two will give. So you're seeing an argument in the price right here. Those are great times to get in. In my case, I want to jump in when the bulls win and the bears give up because this gives you a very high likelihood of the price shooting up drastically, not just a small amount. The same goes if you're trying to short. You'd want to put your short somewhere below this line to confirm that it is broken out. So let's go ahead and see what happened here in this wedge. And we continue it on so you would see exactly what we would be following. Sure enough, the price did break out of the wedge and it shot up drastically. And we're talking 120 dollars is where it about tapped out. Me being a day trader, scalping a position like this, I would most likely have gotten out around here where I would expect more resistance. However, there wasn't any and it did sh continue to shoot up. So be prepared to adjust where you put your position at. The goal of scalping is that you get in and you get out immediately. In day trading, the best thing to do is to get in and get out. Doing so will protect your funds when you're not paying attention to them. 
This will allow you to make the most amount of profit with the least amount of risk. So while I may have gotten out at this price right here, that's still a $50 gain. And if I would have bought 10 BTC in 10 minutes, I would have made $500. So keep that in mind. Be sure if I went all the way to the top, I would have made $1,200. My goal is always to minimize the risk. That pretty much does it for this tutorial. This is just a simple tutorial showing you guys how to handle the wedge. I don't want to throw too much at you guys because I want you to really understand what I'm talking about when I talk about each signal. If you have a request and you would like to see a video on something, please put it in the comments. You can also follow me on Instagram and direct message me there and I'll always answer right away. My handle on Instagram is Crypto Informer. Just like my YouTube handle. I hope to be putting more videos out for you guys, describing different things, showing you guys how to make profit, how to make the most money in this market space, and covering the daily crypto news. Eventually, my plan is also to have a way to alert you of breaking news so you can get in on crypto right when it's about to pop. And that will give you the best chance of making huge returns in a very short amount of time when we see cryptos go up 30% in 20 minutes. That's all for now. See you guys next time.